What's going on, Catterman, Catterwomen, people of YouTube, all of you who want to know how to make this reel capable of catching huge fish. And when I say huge fish, I'm talking about gigantic fish. A shark. Here we go, guys. Nice brown shark. A lot of people buy this reel, or look at this reel, and they think, wow, it's a huge reel, and it's got a level wind on it? Why? Okay. Well, right here we've got the Cast King Rover 90. This is a huge round reel that can take up to 500 yards of 80 pound braid, and it's got the rest of the line descriptions on here. Like, it can take 650 yards of 16 pound mono. Crazy things like that. And what a lot of people, I think, don't understand is that, well, you know, there's a level wind on here on this reel. It's made for smaller species like if you're trolling really deep water for salmon or trout or lake trout and stuff like that you know then it's no big deal but the one big issue and the one reason why if you ever looked at a lot of big conventional reels that they don't have their level wines is because a level wine can get in the way of catching a huge fish the biggest most important thing about having a fishing reel that works for big species of fish is to have as little parts in the way as possible you won't want anything to break on you you don't want anything you know to hinder it and oftentimes one of the biggest things to break on a brown bait caster is the level wine apparatus this is because one you've got right down here it's all open and it gets exposed to grime and all that stuff you've got a pole that's going moving back in here constantly that needs to stay sharp and even so if the pole gets damaged or anything like that the level wine gear doesn't work anymore it doesn't line up the line the way it's supposed to you can get stuck and if you've got a big fish on and all that pressure goes in that level wine and it needs to rip line out of there, the level wine chocks up, chokes up and breaks and snaps on you, what's going to happen is the line's going to keep trying to get out of the reel, it's going to pull harder on the level wine and you're either going to end up with a completely busted reel or you're going to, if you're lucky, just have your line snap. I'm going to show you guys real quick how to turn this large round baitcaster into a reel that's able to effectively capture sharks and all kinds of big species of fish. You're just gonna need a screwdriver to do this. Very straightforward and it's a service that's gonna only take a couple of minutes to do. Here we have the Rover 90 that's already been taken care of. This one is so to speak big game ready. And over here we have the Rover 90 with the level wine still in it. You see that? I came across someone a while ago that was saying a lot of bad things about the Rover. Now, I love the Rover. I think they're great and for the bargain price that you get these awesome big reels with 20 pounds of drag for, you really can't beat it. And it's got a lot of torque to it and it's a great saltwater approved reel. It's a beast, but it's not put in the right hands and the person doesn't know how to correctly use it, anything can break and go wrong. So. You want to catch some big fish. You want to catch some big fish with these reels that are going to pull drag, that are going to go pull like crazy. You're going to need a lot of line capacity for it, heavy line for it. This is the reel for you. The 80 and the 90 series are awesome. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to look at this reel right here, right? We're going to have to do two things. We're going to have to separate this side cover and this side cover from the cage. This is the cage, the one piece cage. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our screwdriver you're going to take these right here and you're going to loosen these bolts. This does it. Now you can screw them off once you've loosened them by hand. There we go. Just pop that off. We've got the one side right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the spool out. Just pull it out like that. Nice and simple and easy. 
Now we're gonna take the screwdriver again and you're gonna loosen these three screws right here on the side. And you're just gonna gently pop it off, making sure that these blue plastic holders right here don't come off. So here we've got the cage now, we've got the spool here, we've got the right side cover, the side cover with the handle, and we have the side cover with the level wand. So, this is the clicker, this is the level wand gear, and over here we've got the level wand apparatus in all of its beauty. So now, here you, here's what you want to do. You want to take your small screwdriver, and you want to see the C-clip right over here, that C-clip, okay? You need to take that off carefully. So what you do is you're going to find these two grooves in there, right here, and you're going to pop that down gently, and there it goes. Here's the C-clip. This is one of the most lost parts when people try to take these round bait casters apart. They just lose their C-clips. Once you lose your C-clip, you're, you're screwed because that holds everything into place. So as you see, now the level one's become loose, right? But to take off this part, you're gonna have to take your larger screwdriver, you're gonna have to pop it right over here into this groove right down here. You're gonna have to gently pull pop until you feel it pop. You're gonna screw off the bottom of that level one assembly. Just spray that off. There it came off, and that's how it should look inside. Bronze down there is a little plate to hold the pole in. So that's the bottom of that level one. Now, we're just going to remove the pole, and that's a little thing inside the level one that goes back and forth. I think someone told me once it looks like an ant king. I don't know, it's just really weird, but there you go. There you go, that's a little pole. You're gonna take that out. And so, now you've got this piece right here. Pop that down so you don't need that anymore. But we are going to stick the level wind and the tube back. And why are we going to do that? Why? Because you don't want it to be open to be a hole on the side and then for you to get grime into the inside of the reel and the gears. So you're going to pop it back in. You're going to make sure that the two little metal washers up here go back on there. You're going to pop that C clip back on to hold that level wind down. So let's do that right now. Okay, so here you go. C clips back in there. And now we're going to do the second thing. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this gear off over here, the level one gear, because you don't need that. All it's going to do is add resistance to your reel, and we don't want that. So what you're going to do now is you're going to do the same thing. There's a C clip on top of here. We're going to remove that C clip. Very simple and straightforward. Boom. C clip has been taken off. Now all you do is wiggle a little bit. And here comes that gear out. Pop that down there. Now, this is the very simple part. All we're gonna do is make sure it's lined up correctly again. Pop this side cover back on. Now you're gonna take the spool. All right, so you're gonna make sure that this right here, before we pop it in, is this way. So we're gonna pop that right back into there. Shaboom. And now we just take the side of the gears. Make sure it lines up all correctly again. And I love this part, this is the last part. All right, this, is, this is where everything comes together, right guys? This is where all your hard work right there comes together. All right, here we have it. Look at that. What you're also gonna hear is a little bit less noise because you're not gonna have those gears anywhere right here grinding down over here with the level one. Make sure to check that clicker. Shaboom, you've done it guys. You now have a big game slash offshore ready Cast King Rover 90 that's not gonna have anything in the way to catch you the big fish you've been looking for. I've been using these reels now to go sharking and they're a ton of fun. Well, thanks for watching guys. Go catch yourself some big stingrays and sharks with these reels or whatever else big fish you want to conquer. The Cat's King Rover is your way to do it. I'll see you guys next time. Catterman.
Nice, nice pound shot. 